All right, everyone, we're here at the Pixar Hotel, downtown Disney, Anaheim, California. Wow. Yeah, this is our first time in here. We haven't really checked it out before. So we just decided to kind of come in here and tour for a few minutes. Very nice artwork. Got the bell desk that way. Hi, how are you? down that way. Yeah. Well, that's their menu. Yeah. Let's see how many. Oh, prices here are fairly reasonable. Yeah. Very nice. Sandwiches, burgers. Where's the breakfast? We got the brunch over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so this would have been another nice place to have a nice breakfast. Yeah. $17.23 for French toast. Yeah, it's really nice to come down here just to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, I guess you don't get the Disney characters though, but still. Right. So I don't think this hotel is that big, but it's a nice place to stay. I mean, the prices here for the food, reasonable. They have some gift shops here you can check out. I mean, that's your average cost for breakfast nowadays is about 17 to $20. But you're staying down here in downtown Anaheim, right across the street from Disneyland, uh, right up the way from the Disney Hotel, downtown Disney's here, Disneyland, California Adventure. No, it's not McDonald's and everything here is in a reasonable walking distance. And then of course you get tired in the park, you can always come back to your hotel room, chill for a few minutes, and then head back to the park again, and enjoy the whole day. So you're not feeling exhausted or anything. So that's the one cool thing about staying in one of these places down here. You know, it's, to me, it doesn't seem to make sense to stay at a hotel that's further down the street and much cheaper or further away and cheaper because you're going to have to wake up and enjoy the amenities. You're going to wake up, want to have your breakfast. And uh, after you leave the place, you don't have to scuffle trying to get, you know, five or 10 miles to a cheaper hotel room. It just all makes sense. So, and I know that there's a lot of options out there and I'm cost effective too when I stay at a place. But one of the things I always factor in, even when I go to Vegas, is, you know, the accommodations and how far is where I'm staying compared to some of the other hotels. And so like even one time I went to Las Vegas, I stayed at the, um, what was it? The, uh, not the Paris, but was it the Polo Hotel or whatever? I don't remember the name of that one place. The one I told you guys again, I would never stay at. But at any rate, uh, I had stayed there once before, but it was off the strip. And, you know, I thought I would be saving money, but you know, I caught a few taxis. There was hardly any restaurants and eating amenities. And so I ended up spending more money at that hotel, even though it was cheaper, 
than what I would normally pay staying, staying on the strip. So uh, definitely wasn't cost effective. So I just relate everything to that, you know, into this particular situation is that even if you are paying a little bit more to stay at a, a place like this, it's cheaper in the long run, considering you have your restaurants here, uh, safe environment, not too far away from everything. You know, once we stayed at the Howard Johnson, and I can promise you we would never stay there again. I mean, it was a lot cheaper and everything, but it was a ran down hotel. I really don't even want to uh, speak about it. But, uh, oh, look, we got a nice little character here. He's giving out free hugs to everybody. So that's just my two cents on that situation. All right, so that pretty much concludes our tour of the Disney's Pixar Hotel. I think this is called the Disney Pixar Palace, uh, located in uh, Anaheim, California, across the way from the Grand Californian here at Walt Disney World here in Anaheim, California. And um, the room rates here are a little bit more affordable. Uh, there's not a lot to see or do um, as far as I can see, I mean, parking is really accessible. Everything's in walking distance. But again, uh, we just wanted to kind of showcase what we, you know, just kind of took a stroll on. We were just out having some fun. Um, if you don't get validated, parking is about $40 per day. Uh, we got in here for about a good 30 minutes just to kind of walk around and record a little bit and see what was in here. Not as extravagant as some of the other hotels that we've seen quite recently, but it is a nice place to stay. You have your food amenities, everything's in walking distance, and you have the nice full family fun adventure. So until next time, guys, we will catch you later. Have fun. Bye-bye.